kind of give some more thoughts about moving to New York City. Today's video may be a bit different from what you're used to seeing here on this channel. As the title suggests, I might be moving to New York City. And I hope by the end of the video, I take you through the journey of why, as well as give you some insight into my personal goals and aspirations for the future. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Drew Wood It's nice to meet you. We have a flight to catch. So we made it to New York City. The Big Apple, the Big Kahona, the, the concrete jungle. <laughs> if you don't know me, my name is Drew What Do. It's nice to meet you. I'm accompanied by the lovely Lauren Zerker. As the title suggests, I might be moving to New York City. I would give it probably a 50-50 chance. And in this vlog, we're gonna be taking you guys around, trying to get more acclimated with the city. Just get a better feel for where we might move to if we actually decided to move here. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's a bit cloudy, it's a bit rainy. These are the fits for today. First things first, let's get some food. <laughs> Also, as you can see, I had to change my, I had to put a jacket on because it's far too cold to be wearing just a knitted cardigan. As you can see, I, I ate the entirety of my plate. Lauren is still working on hers, but... I give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10? Yeah, it was good. good. I agree, it was pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to explore a bit more of the Upper East Side. See what that has to offer. Yorkville, Lenox Hill. Is that what it's called? Lenox Hill? And then we'll kind of go from there. We're gonna try to make it out to Brooklyn too, but we'll see if time permits. We got some other things to do later. Your boy also got a haircut. <laughs> So there's a couple of reasons why we might be moving to New York. I think it boils down to the fact that for me as someone who is in the fashion space, content and social media space, that like New York is just a great opportunity to connect with the people that I already work with in Denver that oftentimes are here in New York. For Lauren, she's a illustrator artist so i think that like, the flexibility of that role she just needs to have her ability to create art she can do that from anywhere essentially also like i don't know from a place in the u.s new york has always been one of those places that i've always been most like infatuated with now i know there's a lot of romanticization when it comes to the city and like it's not always this beautiful thing but we're contemplating it more than ever before I like 
this part. Nice little part. The sun is this way, so I'm walking backwards and Lauren's walking the right way. <laughs> back to the hotel we got free tickets to the daily show which should be pretty fun i'm pretty excited for that i think it's hassan minaj is like the host of it right now so that'll be a lot of fun we'll bring y'all with us for the rest of the days don't worry about it this is just day one there's a lot more in store so yeet <laughs> So today we're going to a jazz brunch, which is something that I've never done before, or Lauren suggested it. And, you know, I had to dress up a little bit nicer, you know what I'm saying? Not Nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy in terms of like formality's sake, but should be a lot of fun. Hopefully they let me record while I have this in there, but. got done at the jazz brunch that was quite the experience I enjoyed it actually Lauren so we had to pay to actually get in for that particular jazz brunch probably can't hear me um, but they wanted you to pay $70 in addition to paying for the tickets to get in to actually eat there and they give you some bread and they give you complimentary drinks but um yeah we're not paying an additional $70 for, for two bites. And now we're going to... And now we're in New York. But now we're going to, <laughs> to Joe's, Joe's Pizza. Joe's Pizza. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Joe's Pizza definitely hit the spot. Yeah, it was good. It was good. It was good. It wasn't like, you know, crazy, insanely, like, oh my God, sensational. But if I need a slice, I know where to go. And it's not $70, so. <laughs> so now we're in, like, West Village, I believe, like, Greenwich Village area. And I don't know. I feel like this area, compared to the other areas we've been in, it's nice being around. I don't know, like Lauren and I were talking like like when there are young people, like youthful people, like energetic people around, like that's when it's that's when you have like the energy, right? And like things feel right. It's Sunday right now, so I don't know. It just feels good walking around here. Got our pizza, went to the jazz night. Probably go to Washington Square Park and see where the day takes us. Got done at Washington Square Park. Had to put the second hood on because you know it's getting real frigid out here. But Lauren was just saying how you know last time we were here at that park, it, it had wasn't a, the same like feel. Didn't have the same feeling, but today it was just. It was a lot more inviting. Inviting and just fun. Kids and. 
the environment was People nice. were on good vibes, even though it's pretty cold, like people were yeah. still like happier. Yeah. It seemed like. So I don't know, that's just another another wrinkle of New York City, like Today we're in sunny Greenpoint. Financial district over there. Oh, that's the World Trade Center, one World Trade Center, and Hudson Yards is over there. That's Midtown, Chrysler, and then yeah, Central Park's over there. to get some pizza. Shocker. Lauren. Shocker. Shocker. <laughs> Lauren is is uh maybe less than ecstatic. No. no. Are you I like are you happy? Pizza. Oh she likes pizza. But we're, you know. We're going to Prince Street Pizza, so it's a good place. It's a good place. One of my favorite slices. We'll see how it compares to Joe's and everything. It's one of those places like okay like you're in New York, you probably should get some Prince Street pizza at some time, at some point. We'll see, how, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we are better. <laughs> Every day since we've been here, it's been a bit cold, and today is no exception. But one of the things that makes me excited to potentially move here, live here, is the fact that there are so many other dope, creative, content creative, YouTube creative, um, just overall creative people in this city. and. I think that's kind of like the last leg of this video is being able to showcase a little bit of the collaborative aspect of New York and what can be accomplished here in terms of proximity to other people. So it's uh, it's been a very it's been a very enlightening experience over the last I would say thirteen days, ten days, whatever it may have been. What's up, Sam? I would say this is like actually. Thank you so 
so much. So when it comes to maybe moving to New York, people like Sam are definitely like one of the bigger pulls for why we're interested. She's a creative person, she's super cool, connected via internet, and when internet friends meet in real life, it's a powerful, powerful moment, for sure. So, but the vibe was right here. Got some more friends to meet a little bit later. Walking Sam back to the subway now. Gang, 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 gang. <laughs> <laughs> to get bagels first because when you're in New York you gotta get you a bagel at some point right so that's what we're on our way to do just to kind of chill these are the last few days here in the city so it's gonna be a more like chill relaxing time hanging out with people and I'm excited to bring you guys along right now we're kind of walking towards and Lauren's got her hat we're walking towards Times Square so I'll show you guys real quick which is a crazy place. I don't honestly recommend walking here if you don't like the sensory overloadness of the place. It's back there, literally. But uh, yeah, getting some bagels today, so let's go. You don't wanna ride a bus? Old remnants of old New York, right there. <laughs> we'll see how this one goes. I hope they're, I hope they're not that high. They're mid-level. Alright, so we grabbed our bagels. Heading over to a place to eat them at. Review coming very soon. Alright, so we're at this little park area. Kind of near the Empire State Building. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Probably can't even read that, but whatever. Honestly, this is pretty good. I cannot complain at all. Simple bacon, egg, and cheese. Lauren wants to try some. Simple. Doesn't, yeah. You, you can't really, I mean, unless you got like some really foul ingredients, you can't really go wrong, I feel like. To a little pop up.
and that's what I mean when you're in New York. You can kind of just run into people without even trying, and those are people that I've had connections with before when I was here last year in the city, and being able to meet with them just serendipitously is pretty cool. Lauren, how are you enjoying your time here so far? So today is our last full day in New York. It's a rainy day, so what better way than to spend a rainy day than at a museum? So today we're partly cloudy with a bit of uh, rain. Um, a light drizzle. Drizzle. <laughs> a light drizzle. <laughs> Basically, there's a movie being filmed right behind us. Sorry, my camera is very... Sorry about that. Go to the museum on a rainy day, they said. It would be fun, they said. Except for the fact that there's a line that's as long as Madison Avenue. <laughs> When it comes to the subject of potentially actually moving to New York City, there are still a few question marks in both Lauren and mine's head. The negatives of the city include the overstimulation, 
rat race mentality, the actual rats, expense, and safety. The positives are mainly what I showcased in this video. The connections, the food, the world-class entertainment, and I barely scratched the surface for both of the negatives and the positives. Whether we decide to move or not, I hope to continue to tell my story in a compelling way, to inspire others through a positive message, and to look good while doing it. As always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2023, so that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you from me. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your day. Abianto. Peace.